In this video, you'll find out how BMC AmiOps makes it easy to detect and diagnose your mainframe problems. Let's take a look. Upon entering AmiOps, you'll immediately see your mainframe's current issues. Each of these boxes represent a different problem or abnormal event. At the top of the box, you'll see the systems where these different events have occurred. Along the bottom, you'll see each problem's classification. Clicking the Investigate button allows you to drill down into more details. Let's click to see what this particular event reveals. Clicking takes you to the Probable Cause Analysis view. At the top is the Timeline of Activity. Along the timeline, markers indicate where an issue has occurred. There are multiple markers for this event, meaning various problems have occurred during this timeline. Clicking into the earliest part of the timeline lets you see how the event started. Here, you can see the causal pathways highlighted in color. Today, we'll focus on the issue called contention, which means there was a resource contention problem. Clicking the box for contention allows you to zero in on the cause and effect pathway of issues in the system. Here, page lock activity was lower than normal, global contention was high, and CPU times were higher than normal. A plus sign indicates a higher than normal score, and a minus sign means a lower score. The Z scores are machine learning scores about the event's level of abnormality. This blinking node draws your attention to the issue's primary cause. In this case, it is global contention. You can view even more details about the event to determine the cause of the global contention problem. In this example, a hyperlink connects to another area of the interface, enabling additional data views. The command for the mainframe product is the icon that looks like one page layered over another. There's also a View Detailed Analysis button. Clicking View Detailed Analysis lets you drill down into even more detail. Here, under Analysis, a resource called Common Solo 2 is locked and can't be used because it's being held by a CICS program. Under Overview, you can see that one resource is being held, 1,240 programs are trying to access the resource, so far the longest wait time for that resource is over two minutes, and the program waiting the longest is CICV 5505. Below, you can view who's holding the resource and additional information, such as the DB2 correlation ID, the authorization ID, and the DB2 plan name. You can also view which system a particular program is running on. All of this information directs you where to go and what to look for, so you can quickly solve mainframe problems. As you just saw, AmiOps can pinpoint a problem out of tens of thousands of resources in just seconds, providing specific, actionable intelligence to correct your system. To learn more, please reach out for a personalized demo tailored to your unique needs.